So we're just going to have a look at a key passage from chapter one. Um, this moment here describes the young doctor removing a plaster acorn from the decorative border inside Hundreds Hall um, during his first visit there as a young boy. Um, he reminds us of just how alien and awe-inspiring this building, this absolute mansion was to him. Um, the decorative and opulent features of the house um, are, are just completely alien um, to him and he, he actually points out that he's never seen anything like it outside of a church. Um, but rather than just admiring um, such features, we get a glimpse of, into the, the the darker side of the Doctor, if you like. Um, he tells us that he started to work his fingers around one of these acorns and tried to prise it from its settings. Um, and when that failed um, to work, he he gets out his penknife and starts digging away with that. Um, it's a rather unsettling kind of description of a, a young boy um, and his desire to possess a piece of it doesn't necessarily sit all that well with us as readers. Um, he tells us he wasn't a spiteful or destructive boy, but the action itself seems to contradict that conclusion um, and that self-analysis and indeed the rest of the novel arguably uh, reveals the Doctor to be both spiteful and destructive. Um, the desperation, the desire to possess is made clear um, and it's interesting that he he decides to um, persevere despite initially failing and um, so the sort of determination of the doctor is very much emphasized um, when he gets out his pen knife and, and starts digging away with that it's not something that he's going to be able to easily remove and easily possess um, and that reflects um, the struggle he faces um, with with trying to possess the hall itself and become master of um, of the family home. Um, the the mention of feeling entitled um, to a piece of it um, is arguably or arguably opens up um, a, an argument to be made that um, Dr Faraday in, in some way represents a, a sort of working class struggle um, and he, he doesn't see why he shouldn't have part of of the heirs' lifestyle and, and be part of that world, why he should be excluded from it. Um, the final sentence again is unsettling. He alludes to this idea that he's um, in love and kind of spellbind, spellbound by the place. Um, and he uses this metaphor of falling in love and, and wanting a lock of hair from a girl. Um, and yeah, this idea of, of being in love and obsessed with the hall um, becomes very clear early on in the, in the novel. There are also two other important points to make um, when looking at this extract. Um, the first is that the extract suggests um, the Doctor's potential for violence um, in the extraction of the plaster acorn um, with a pen knife and this kind of digging away um, and rather disturbing um, act of vandalism. It all hints of a more violent um, personality. 
a personality that we also catch glimpses of later on in the novel at the very end um, there's one moment in particular that stands out when he throws the ring at Caroline when she um, finally calls the, the wedding off so these very early suggestions are you know picked up and developed later on by Waters um, in the novel um, and the other point I wanted to just mention was about the symbolism of the acorn of course the acorn is a seed and then grows into a tree um, I've read that some critics um, have have felt that the choice of an acorn is quite important you know the idea that um, this acorn represents the sort of seeds of his desire um, that will grow um, and um, develop over time um, and actually come come to con uh, consume him um, entirely. There's another section down here which I think is quite interesting um, and it raises the theme or the idea of appearance versus reality and perhaps suggests that um, despite on the surface of things the heirs family um, looking like they have the perfect existence um, when you start to tap away at the surface and, and dig deeper into their lives and and, and private lives um, you you actually find it's not as wonderful and um, as awe-inspiring as you had perhaps assumed. Um, we get that sense from down here at the bottom that he he was disappointed that the plaster acorn wasn't made of marble so he'd kind of imagined it to be much um grander than than it actually was and and that i think echoes the sentiments um that the doctor feels when he visits the family home as an adult um when he goes to treat betty this idea that um he had an illusion of what the house was um, and that that illusion is shattered quite quickly um, when he discovers that the family are far from perfect um, have many issues of their own and the house itself is um, is is decaying.